The Waffle House is where the rubber meets the road in terms of affordable good food and people working hard and living off uh, tips. So they got a plan about how to increase the minimum wage that will be easier for business. Waffle House is serving up a solution in the minimum wage debate. The restaurant chain taking politics off the plate and suggesting a gradual increase to satisfy lawmakers on both sides of the aisle. Waffle House president and CEO Walt Amer joins us now with the all-star approach. Good morning, Walt. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Nice touch. Okay. So yes, thank you. I can't take credit for that, though. Uh, I just read it. Um, okay. So go ahead. Why don't you tell us how this all started? I mean, it really is a fascinating approach, and break it down for us what it exactly is. Well, I think everybody in the country believes the minimum wage should go up. I, the way we've handled it historically hasn't really worked well. We we argue about it, and then we leave it alone for years. And so what we thought we would try to do is offer a kind of a common sense business approach solution to this, which is fix it for once, get it on the right track, and then, uh, and then index it over time so that, uh, so that it's fair for the people, the business, and the customers that ultimately have to pay for goods and services. So what we've done is we've gone back to the 1968 inflation-adjusted wage when the last time they really created so much of the minimum wage laws. We indexed that over time. That led us to a number that was probably in the 1050 plus range. And then we said, let business uh, adjust to that about a dollar an hour until they get to that. But most importantly, the process going forward is that we would have a system that would index this by cost of living over time. And if you think about it, every worker in this country wants their wages to keep up with inflation. And this plan would do that over the course of time. And I think it's something business can digest as well. Mm. Yeah. Walt, uh, we, we heard from um, Senator Graham earlier there. He said that he's going to take this on to Senator Joe Manchin. I mean, there does seem to be bipartisan support growing for your suggestion. The White House has said it's open to new ideas after the $15 minimum wage was rejected. Uh, have you been getting a lot of support from both sides of the aisle? And do you think this is really something that can move forward from here? Well, we do think it's something that can move forward. We're trying to meet with both sides of the aisle. We're trying to meet with the White House as well. Um, and governors and business leaders, et cetera. I, as I said, I think everybody in the country is in agreement that the number is too low. Matter of fact, not very many people pay that wage anymore. And so what we want to do is fix the process, fix the system. Um, I think that both sides can get on board because ultimately this will, with inflation, this will uh, continue to keep up with the cost of living and you know, not not one size fits all in every market. Manhattan is different than Moultrie, Georgia. Um, and so this is a really f kind of a floor wage that uh, higher cost of living states and cities could build off of if they needed to. Uh, but we think this federal floor wage is something that, uh, that both sides of the aisle can support. And I think Americans can support. And we've got about 30 seconds left, but you know, you talk about it being gradual. I think that for business owners, that's really the key right now because when you have such a, a skyrocketed increase in a short period of time, you know, some people are saying, I'm going to have to lay off employees then because I, I don't have the funds for that. Yeah, you, businesses don't like shock, consumers don't like shock, but I can tell you this nobody cares more about our workforce than we do. And, uh, and I feel that uh, most of my peers in the business world feel the same way. We want to take care of our people, and we think this kind of satisfies all, yeah. uh, all objectives. It, it helps take care of the people over time and gives business a chance to digest it. Well, can't wait to see where it goes. Walt Amer, uh, Amer thank you very much for joining us. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Thank you.